What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown? I'm here with another First Impressions. This is a series where I give kind of a first look in on something that I've played, typically after streaming it or something, and just kind of give my thoughts on it, hoping maybe it gets better from there. Uh, today we're going to be having a... <laughs> words. Today we're going to be having a look at a series that... I had known about, but didn't really get into, and that's Higurashi Chapter 1. I can't remember the subtext for Chapter 1, so bear with me. Uh, can't imagine there are too many Chapter 1s of that flowing ar floating around. Anyways, first off, I'll state, uh, I will state this. Unlike a lot of people, I didn't watch the Higurashi anime that came out, and I know there's a new one coming out, and I'm not saying on the... I'm not saying I'm a prophet of Jesus or something like that, but I'm just saying I seem to be touching a lot of things and suddenly new developments happen on them. Just saying. Anyways, I digress. So yeah, I didn't watch the anime. So going into this, I didn't have a lot to work with. Now, I knew shit hit the fan. Uh, I knew shit would hit the fan in this series. Uh, that's just something you universally know. Even if you don't watch it, you've probably seen images, you've probably seen clips. And since I try to keep first impressions spoiler free for the most part, I will continue to do so. But I'd seen clips, I'd seen parts, I knew shit was going to hit the fan. I will say though, however, if you have seen the anime and your only exposure is to the anime, sitting down with just volume one is going to leave you with a... The anime will leave you with a very high expectation of what to expect. Don't. The anime is an adaptation of the story as a whole, not chapter one. Chapter one in and of itself is as it states. It's, it's interesting in the fact that it's a complete story from what I saw. But at the same time, the other chapters are supposed to add more context and more information about the story. Which is good, I guess. Yeah, that, that's good. A anyways, I'll get down to what I liked about this. Uh, what what I liked, what I didn't like so far. Um, so getting into this, I really liked the characters. There was pretty much not any character I didn't like. Except for maybe... Oh god, I have to remember all their names. Uh, Reina, Mi, uh, Mio, uh... I want to say it's Rika. Yeah, it's one of the little kids who isn't the snot-nosed brat. She just didn't feel like she did a lot. But aside from that, I really liked everyone. I may or may not have had a tiny crush on, Ri on uh... I almost said Rika. That's... no. Uh, Reina going through the game as well. Um, but I liked it. It was very, it was very cut and dry. And for the most part, it comes off very slice of life until shit does hit the fan. Um, my ultimate problem I think I had with the game was for a lot of it, I felt like it was too much of a slow burn. Like I knew shit was going to hit the fan and just that expectation that things were going to happen was, I was sitting there going, okay, so when does this happen? When does this take off? And I'm sitting here going through all this crazy stuff, and I'm just like, okay, when does stuff start happening? When does stuff start happening? And I get that's to build the tension and really get the uh, get through the idea that this, oh, man, there's really something fucked up going on. It's like, and I could feel that through a lot of it. It's like, oh, man, there's this weird mystery about uh, a fucking man getting killed at this one place. Oh, man, that's really weird. You got any take on that? Okay, now we're playing, uh, we're playing a, a game. Okay, cool. All right. Until the moment where it really does start slowly drifting away from that slice of life kind of feeling to it. And you start delving into murder mystery territory and into high tension kind of like, okay, who do I trust? What do I trust? What's going on? What the fuck? Uh, territory. And that I really liked. Once it hit that point, I was all on board. We had finally got past all the slow crawl. And I'm like, all right, I'm on board. Shit's getting crazy. And I was all for that. Like I said little too much of a slow start for my taste hopefully the other ones aren't like that that's really my only complaint i can give to it um i mean that and i think uh i that and i i it's really easy to tell like it baits really hard at the end it's like all right you get an ending but it's not fulfilling because you don't really feel like you've 
learned what happened. You're not really sure what happened. And they even kind of joke that uh, joke about that in an epilogue where the characters pretend like they're actors uh, having recorded the visual novel. And even they take guesses at what really happened inside the, uh, inside the story. So it's definitely an interesting, an interesting story. You can just read Volume 1 and be satisfied somewhat, but if you're looking at the overall narrative for it, I don't know. It kind of lands into what I would call commitment territory. Commitment territory is usually what I define for, say, RPGs. It's typically an idea that I give where it's like, okay, I could play this game, but it's going to be a commitment. I'm expecting to commit maybe 60 or some hours to this. And as uh, and I have commitment issues. I like fast, quick-paced games where I can just go through and I don't have to worry about slow, boring build stuff. Kind of ironic considering I like visual novels. I know. But that's kind of how I felt for this one. It's like it's not bad, but it's like I want to know more about this story, but I'm really not excited by the prospect of having to read. God, how many fucking parts are out right now? It's like... I bought the bundle for volumes 1 through 5, I think 6 and 7 have released, and 8 is in beta right now for translation? I don't fucking... God. I know that's probably going to make a really good story once I read all of them, but... God, I don't know. Having to read 8 visual novels to get full context for something? That's a little bit of a commitment. But, that's just my, uh, that's just my thoughts on it. Who knows, maybe it'll turn out to be good. But I don't think I'll be getting around to the others anytime soon. Like I said, commitment. And uh, I have commitment issues. I like to game around. Anyways, that's going to be it for now, guys. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.